This is a great time of year and one of my favorite things about the holidays is uh, amaryllis bulbs. And we've got a beautiful one that's blooming right now and uh, this is called Charisma. Uh, gorgeous color. It's just barely starting to open so the blossoms are going to get even larger as it develops but it's it's really fun to watch the progress of the amaryllis bulbs as they grow. So today I'm going to show you how to plant your own amaryllis bulbs so you can enjoy them inside during the holidays but more importantly after the holidays are over it's a great time to have something blooming in the house during January and February and uh, be able to feel spring is on its way even though we've got you know three feet of snow outside. So a couple of things that you need. I always like to have a little piece of uh, either like paper towel or a napkin or something to put in the bottom of my pot. And I always use just a, a standard plastic nurseryman's pot. I use an azalea type pot which has a flatter bottom so it's, it's not as tapered and narrow because as the bulbs develop and they grow and they get taller and bigger and the flowers get really big, they're really top heavy. So something with a nice stable bottom works great. And these pots, inexpensive, easy to work with, and then we can make them look nice once we're all done and I'll show you how to do that. So put your paper towel down on the bottom. The reason we've got the paper towel is because there's holes in the bottom of the pot and we don't want the soil to just like pour out the bottom of the pot. So the paper Paper towels there to hold the soil in there. As it gets moist, as the soil really compacts down, it'll start to break down, and uh, and that's fine. But we just need it temporarily there to hold the soil. And the best soil that we've got that we've ever used is this Fertilome Ultimate Potting Mix. The uh, Ultimate Potting Mix is a, a great mixture of peat moss, vermiculite, perlite, and humate, and it's wonderful for planting plants indoors and also uh, for, for containers and pots and great for amaryllis. So I've got some, I've got some right here. I grabbed my handy dandy scoop and what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill it up part way so that we can get the, the bulb down in the bottom of the pot. So hopefully I don't make a giant mess and get in the soil in here. There we go. Not too, not too bad. All right. Set that aside for a moment. All right, so you can see you can see how light and fluffy and nice that soil is. It doesn't have any bark or twigs or, or junk in it. It's just peat moss, perlite, and vermiculite. So a really nice, light, fluffy soil. Now when you're selecting your bulbs at Anderson's, we have a lot of different colors and a lot of different sizes of bulbs to choose from. So color ranges from you know white to pink to red to burgundy, and there's some orange and peach colors. We've got lots of different colors to choose from. But the bigger the bulb, the more flowers it's going to produce. So we bring in the, the biggest bulbs that we can get. This is, a, this is a 34 centimeter or larger bulb. This is one of the biggest bulbs that uh, you can find around and most places do not carry bulbs that are this large. So you can see in comparison to my hands how large the bulb is. A 34 centimeter bulb like this will produce at least two flower stems with four to six flowers on it. Like this has one, two, three, four. This actually has five flowers on it. This will produce at least two stems like that, and in most cases it'll produce three. So you're going to get at least two stems of four to six flowers, and possibly a third. So you could have anywhere between, you know, eight to twelve to even fifteen flowers uh, off of one bulb like this. My bigger bulbs, my jumbo bulbs, they're 40 centimeters or bigger. And you can tell, much, much bigger. I mean, the bulbs are just massive. The bigger the bulb, the more flowers you're going to have. So comparison-wise, you can see how much bigger this bulb is than our 34 centimeter. The jumbos will produce at least three flower stems with four to six flowers on it and in most cases they'll produce four flower stems. It's not unusual to have 16 to 20 flowers off of one bulb like this size. So if you're going to do a jumbo size bulb like this uh, in a pot, I'd probably start with about an eight inch pot and with the smaller bulbs a seven to a seven and a half inch pot seems to, to work perfectly. But this one has a lot of root system on it so we've got to make a little bit of room down the bottom of our pot. So Filled that up with soil, I can make kind of a, an impression or an indentation down there in the bottom where those where those roots can go. 
What I like to do is get your bulbs a day or two in advance before you're going to plant them up and soak them in water, just, just room temperature water, overnight for 12 to 24 hours. Just, just submerge them in water and just let them rehydrate up and it'll rehydrate. It'll make those roots all nice and plump and thick and your, your, your bulb will produce a lot better flowers for you if you can do that in advance. So the trick with this one is to make sure not to break those roots and to get them into the pot properly so we can get that bulb positioned right in the middle because I like that bulb right in the middle if possible so I'm gonna try and position it right there what I'll usually do is I'll take my soil and I'll kind of work that in around the outside of the bulb so it'll kind of support the bulb as as I hold it if I had a, another hand I would use the, the scoop to bring the soil over a little bit quicker, but today we only have we only have two hands, so let's see if we can make this work a little bit faster. It's really nice with the bulbs that are big like this, is it's fun to kind of see how large the bulb is. And they do better if they're sitting a little bit more on the surface. So I like to pack that soil in around the roots. Try not to break or disturb the roots as you're, as you're potting it, like I said. And try and leave about oh half of the bulb exposed from the soil. So we don't want to bury it too deep. We're going to try and get it just, just right so that, that bulb will sit almost right on the surface, about 50% of the bulb showing out of the soil. So as I tuck the soil in around it, we're going to reveal a little bit more of the bulb. And we're going to make a nice big mess here. Since those roots are so big, I kind of had to plant it a little lopsided, but it's really not too bad. And that's the way we want it, like that. So there's our amaryllis bulb, about half the bulb showing, the other half is buried below the surface. And then I like to use a little saucer, if I can get my saucer out of here, there we go. So saucer underneath, that way it'll catch your extra water. A little bit of fertilizer for the bulb, works great. Uh, Garden Coat 6, one of our favorites from Fertilome, and you'd use maybe about a tablespoon, teaspoon to a tablespoon per amaryllis. We'll just pop this open really quick. Oh, we'll shake about a teaspoon on there. There we go. Just right, you can see the fertilizer sitting there. The Garden Coat 6, as you water it, it will gradu gradually release the fertilizer. So it's about a, a four month release fertilizer. So every time you water, it'll give the plant just a little bit of fertilizer. And once you get it, once you get it planted, you know, if you don't like the look of the plastic pot, we can take it and put in a, a much more decorative, more attractive planter makes a wonderful gift for the holidays and then you get to watch it grow and a lot of times you'll see those bulbs produce flowers in a couple weeks sometimes it takes four weeks sometimes it takes six sometimes they're just a little bit slower sometimes they come along a little bit quicker and once you start to see a flower bud coming up out of the top of the bulb it takes about four weeks for it to bloom and turn into this now sometimes we'll get bulbs in that have buds coming already so this is one of those jumbo bulbs it's got two flower buds coming already that once we plant it up it won't be very long at all it'll only take a week or two for it to start to bloom and we'll be able to enjoy that right away so a lot of fun planting the amaryllis and a great way to enjoy something growing indoors during the winter time and uh, we've got all you need to plant those up here at Anderson Seed